The power of passion in achieving what you want in life has been elaborated by many writers and success teachers. I believe that finding and doing what you're good at is a major success principle. My name is Catherine Gaho and I'm an entrepreneur. I've been in the business of research and training for many years. If you are going to enjoy your life as you pursue your goals, you need to spend more of your time doing something you care about and that you're good at. This will enable you to continue with the desired course of action regardless of the obstacles you encounter. It will inspire you to work with great energy, passion, and determination in the pursuit of your goals. This is important because when you are pursuing your goals, you will always face challenges. You should ask yourself this question. What tasks do I both enjoy and do with great standards, with excellence? What roles make me feel energized and inspired? Think of a challenge you faced one time, which when you addressed, you felt exhilarated, empowered, or inspired. It made you feel alive after you found the solution. That starts to guide you in the direction of the things that will inspire you. What activities have you done that made you get acknowledgement? Or maybe even win an award? Or even just appreciation from your colleagues? Or from your superiors? Or from your clients? That starts to guide you in the direction of that which you are good at. And it takes you to a place where if you were to invest more energy, more effort in building skills in this one area, it's going to give you the area that will enable you to perfect your gift to society. Think of tasks or activities that make you feel in control. When you feel in control, you feel good. So there are things that are more within you that sometimes do not always come out. Of course, people will argue that I'm employed. I don't have the luxury of choosing what I do or what I like. Maybe I'm just doing what I have to do. I don't think so. Because if you're employed, you have a choice to select that which inspires you within your job. Look for something that gives you that pressure. The thing that you do and you almost can't tell that time is moving and invest more of your time in that direction. Even your bosses will notice and you're more likely to get a promotion in that direction that takes you to a place which keeps you doing what you like to do. You know, at one time I saw this quotation that says that doing what you like is freedom, but liking what you do is happiness. In life, career or business, challenges are inevitable. And the bigger your goals or your dreams, the bigger the challenges you will face. When you are working on something that you enjoy, now, what will make the difference between whether you succeed or not is doing something that you're good at and that you enjoy doing. So no matter how things go, you will always be in your element. You are more likely to perform better in this than a role where you are making great efforts and where you don't feel your energy flowing in a natural way. In actual fact, if you think about it, if you use the 80-20 rule on this issue, you'd say that at least spend 80% of your time doing that which you enjoy and 20% of your time doing the other things. It's better to focus on doing that which you can do well and do it repeatedly and you will be able to find your edge. And this can take you to a place where you find even a business, an opportunity, an area that you can serve in and be able to excel and deliver great returns for yourself and for those that you serve. I believe that doing what you are good at is an important success principle. Doing what you're good at will tend to give you the drive and inspiration you need to get the energy required to persist towards the outcome that you desire, to get to achieve the goal that you have written for yourself. Now let's look at how you can make money from doing what you love. First, raise your standards. You need to raise your standards of performance of your craft to a level where it can become a business or source of supplementary income. Because you already have the passion and the natural talent for this one thing that you love to do, 
you'll be able to commit to learning and practicing more in order to perfect your performance. Whether it's baking, music, art, driving, teaching, frying, or even talking, you can be able to leverage your passion to learn and raise your standards by some percentage and you'll become really good at it. Second, create value. Find a way to package a service or product from what you love to do so that you can be able to have something of value to offer to others. You provide value by finding that which will benefit other people's lives based on your craft. Value is created around people's needs. People want to enjoy good food, to socialize, to have a good level of safety and security, to feel happy, to have fun, to laugh, and they want to feel important, among other things. So find what you can do to create value in one of these areas of human need based on your craft. I know someone who loves dogs and created a spa service for pets. Another one created a dog training service. We all know someone who loves to make people laugh, who is now a successful comedian. For me, a sense of curiosity and wonder motivates me. And so I started doing research and eventually created a business around it. Number three, monetize it. After creating value, you need to find a way to monetize it. You need to find people to pay you to do that which you love to do. You do this by pricing the offer and finding a way to reach those who have a need for it. Whatever it is that you love to do, you can find people who are willing to pay for your service. To monetize, you need to find enough customers who are willing to pay for the value you add. This is not difficult because when you have a passion for what you do, you tend to talk about it all the time or you carry a symbol of it that gets people to start a conversation. I got my first customer by talking about my interest in research wherever I went, so that when someone came asking, my colleague referred him to me. So do what you love and make money from it. Before I close, I have a question for you. What action will you take to start to determine that which you're good at? Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and like it. Also put your comments on the channel so that others can see them. Thank you very much and best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.